afternoon, this is David Wendell with Bushcraft on Fire, and we're pleased to be with you for another video. Today we want to do a gear review. Uh, you know, a lot of times we go out into the bush, and uh, we don't want to build a big fire. Today it's sweltering out here. It's about 90 degrees. Even in the shade here, it's about 80, 85. And I just don't want to build a big campfire if I want to boil some water up. Now, James from Spenton.com was kind enough to send me a stove called the Wood Gas Camp Stove. Now this is the uh, XL model, and this is a little bit larger than the basic model. This model is about nine inches tall. It uh, is about six and a half inches across, and it weighs right in at 35 ounces. The, the smaller stove, I'll tell you about in just a few minutes, is five inches in diameter and about six and a half inches tall and it can put out 10,000 BTU per hour uh, for cooking and for heat where this stove here can uh, put out about 12,000 BTU so it's it's a little more powerful stove but what I want to do is show you how this stove operates now the stove comes complete with a couple different things the first is a handle and that's to pick up and move your stove so that you don't get to, so that you don't get burnt because the stove does get hot it comes with a battery pack and this battery pack plugs in I'm going to show you how this works in just a minute you can either put it on low or high and uh, that that will de determine how fast the fan ro runs inside and then it comes with these two pieces of metal which you just put together put on top of the stove, whoop, flip them over, and that becomes your holder for your can, your bottle, or your uh, pot, whatever you want to put on there to cook. So let me go ahead and show you how to, how to work this stove, how to fire it up. We'll put it down on the ground and get a fire going in there to show you how easy it is and how well it burns. All right, what I've done, I've gathered some small sticks, and these are just to get the fire going. They're very, very small. I also have some grass that I picked up on the way in here. And what I'll do is just go ahead and light this grass and get it burning and put it inside the stove. Once we get that a little heated up, you do have to preheat the stove for just a few seconds. Once I get that heated up, then I'll begin to put the fan on. Now you'll see a little bit of smoke in the beginning, but because this is called a wood gas stove, what it does is recirculate the gases that are coming out of your combustible material. Because of that, it gives a complete burn, and you'll see in just a few minutes, there'll be no smoke at all once that we get this thing lit up. So let me go ahead and get that grass lit. Put that in there. I'm going to put the fan on low. Okay, and as soon as that thing gets heated a little bit, put a few of these sticks in here. You can see the flames coming up toward the top. That's because that grass is burning. That's okay. Now the stove has gotten hot. You can actually hear that reburning the gases and you'll see that that smoke in just a minute or two is going to die down. That's just the residual of the grasses that's burning off right now that I used to start it. Now this will uh, burn up to 20 minutes with one load full of twigs in there. Now right at this point this stove is putting out about 12,000 BTU of cooking here as I said and uh, if you want to cook a, a meal pretty fast, this is going to do it for you. Because of the complete burn, and because the fire is so hot inside there, you can actually see that there's no smoke. I mean, it's going pretty well after just about a minute and a half, two minutes. And all I have to do is put twigs in this size. And this stove will burn for quite a long time. Uh, we've had it burn in about 15-20 minutes at a time, which is more than enough time 
to heat your water. So what I'm going to do is just fill the stove up, add a few more small twigs, and the nice thing about it is it completely burns everything you put in. So you can put twigs in there, you can put leaves in there if you want to, whatever you want to put in, and it'll burn them up for you. But I'm just going to get a couple more in there, and then I'm going to get the, uh, the top on there and show you how this actually works. You do want to be careful when you're putting that on there that you don't get burnt. What I've got here is my coffee can. And I'm just going to pour some water in there. We'll get about a cup of water. Two cups, half a quart. And I'm going to set up on there. And we're going to let that go for a few minutes. You can see with that stand that this allows air to come in through and it also allows that flame to come up around my can. Another thing that's real nice with this is my can's not going to get as black as it normally would because there's no smoke and soot and smoke is what makes the black. So we're going to boil this water up for four or five minutes and we'll be back with you to show you our finished product. Now, I don't know if you can see this but that water's been going for about 45 seconds and it's already starting to move on the bottom because it's getting so hot. So again, this is a real quick, well-designed stove that's going to fire up for you and burn your materials. If I do begin to run out, all that I have to do is throw some fuel in on the sides here. And that's going to keep that going for me. It does get hot in there, guys, so you don't want to put your fingers in there. You don't want to get too close to it because you could get a nasty burn with this. So I'm going to go ahead let this boil up and we'll be back with you. Now you can see the flames are coming right up around the side of this. They're heating the entire can. Now you could add a windscreen if you want to, but I've, I haven't have found it necessary. So uh, the batteries in here will run for you, run the fan, for approximately six to eight hours on low. So they're going to last you a while if you have to cook four or five different meals out on the trail but it's definitely a good stove that's going to work well. All right, we're about four and a half to five minutes and we're at a boil and this is on high, okay? So I can quickly boil water. Now let me show you something that's pretty neat here. I'm going to take this plug and just move it over to the low switch and that low fan will allow my stuff to simmer for me. So if I want to make rice or oatmeal, I can put it in there and it lowers the flame down so it's not quite as harsh a flame so I can also simmer things on there. But our water's boiling, it's purified now and we're in good shape. Now let me go ahead grab these tongs and I'm gonna take off put this down for a minute because these are very hot. In fact you can see they're so hot they're starting to burn the, burn the leaves here so we'll be careful with that. Now, what I want to show you a couple things about this stove real quick. Inside, you can see a row of holes on the top. And on the outside, you can see a row of holes on the bottom. This is the air intake. Okay. And then you've got your two power switches on here. Again, as I said, these batteries, you just uh, pull this out. Well, I'll do it after the, after the thing's off because I don't want to turn it off while it's still burning. You want to make a complete burn as long as possible in there. But I'll show you the battery pack, how that works. And I think it's four to five hours on high and six to seven hours on low. So it's a good long battery life on there. Uh, again, James was very kind in sending me this. I think it's a great product. Uh, I have a little bit of a problem that it's so heavy, but if I'm not worried about my weight, it's a good product to have with us on a camp. It'll give us a fire quickly, and if you're not allowed to have fires, you have to have a contained fire. It's definitely the way to go. All right, now the battery pack, as I said, the stove's pretty much gone out, so what I want to do, you just pull this little switch, opens it up, two AA batteries, okay, and they've got a good long battery life on them. Very simplistic. I believe there's actually a way you can hook up solar to this, 
which would be an interesting scenario. Well, James with Spenton Products has done a great job putting this little wood stove together, and I'm really impressed with it. If you need a fire where you have to have a contained fire or just a quick fire, you don't want to stop and build a big fire, you don't want to overheat, this is definitely a good product that you want to look into. Again, it comes with the LE model, uh, which is a little bit smaller than this. This is the XL model, and being a wood gas stove, it does a complete burn, again, which is a really nice thing out in the bush. You're not going to be giving away your location with smoke, having a lot of smoke after the initial combustion has taken place. You know, this is just a fun stove to use, and it works. So kudos to James for a great product. Uh, at three pounds, it's a wee bit heavy. The uh, light, the smaller one is two pounds, which is a little more reasonable, maybe all that you need on a single campout. So do look into these. A good product uh, at a decent price, and I think it's well worth your time. This is Dave Wendell with Bushcraft on Fire. Thanks for joining me for this review. Hope you have a great day and join us soon for another video.